What is up everybody? Alex Pringle here with Clum Dog Outdoors and welcome to Moses Cooley. This is gonna be our first ever rock hounding video. You know, we love all things outdoors, not just hunting and fishing. One of my main passions is rock hounding. I love rock hounding. I love getting out in nature. I mean, right now I'm in this canyon in the middle of absolutely nowhere all by myself. And it's just beautiful. You see some of the most beautiful country when you're out looking for rocks. And so that's, a, that's an appeal to me. Um, Today down here in Moses Cooley, I'm looking for opal and opalized and agatized petrified wood. Um, I was in here two weeks ago and I hiked, found a spot that was just loaded with petrified wood. Beautiful, colorful petrified wood. And so I decided this week before, before the weather starts getting really nasty to come back in here and spend a little more time at that spot um, it's about a two mile hike in to where I'm going I parked at the Hungate um, trailhead out kind of by Palisades Washington and you follow an easement through some private land onto the BLM land and then you're free to roam and if you look all of this is BLM land and you're free to roam anywhere you want I have I've been using Onyx for years. I always download the uh, the offline map so that I have the offline map so that I can make sure that I'm on state property at all times and not get into any private property and and create a situation. So um, I read a report from from 1975 that said in this area in the Moses Cooley they've found fire opal. Now, if you don't know what fire opal is, I'll put a picture on right here, right now, so you can see. It's a, it's an extremely rare gemstone. Opal, common opal, is is pretty prevalent through here. And last time I was here, I found quite a bit. And just walking along, I'll find it just on the ground and stuff like that. So um, that would be my main goal: is to find just one fire opal would be amazing. So. Um, they're few and far between, and I don't have too high hopes, but I'm definitely gonna give it a try. So stick with me, and I'll let you know what I find. So, first find of the day is bone. A piece of bone. There's a dead cow up there. And this got me all excited. And now I feel like an idiot. It's a, obviously a waterfall during the spring. Lord knows how, 
how old it is. I'm guessing pretty old. It looks like every spring it washes out and you can see there's still some water dripping down and it's carved out this hillside which is way cool huh? you know one thing this this central washington area is really known for especially when you get out here is rattlesnakes you want to watch out for the danger noodles um you know it's it's november now but chances are they're not going to be out but it's 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 relatively warm today and you know they're cold blooded chances are by this time of year they're all denned up and and i'm not going to see any but it's always good to keep an keep an eye out you know i'm miles from the truck and if i get bit it's going to be a bad day it's going to take no cell phone service it's going to take me a long time to get back to the car and it's just something you really want to keep an eye out for you know take your time look where you're stepping I grew up hunting this kind of area for chucker and that was one thing my dad always preached to me was watch out for rattlesnakes and I've had instances where I'll step from one rock to another and there'll be a rattlesnake in between the two and, and it's a scary thing so make sure when you're out here in central Washington keep an eye out. So talking away just a second ago and I looked down and I found the first piece of opal. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Beautiful piece of opal. Clean off a little bit here. It's not the not that fire opal, but it is opal. So one thing I have noticed about this area in the two times I've been here is the lower you get, that's where the material is. It doesn't seem to be any sort of material up high. And I, I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it, it just seems to be a fact. I mean, I've actually, uh, yeah, um, I've, yeah, I've climbed all over up and down these hills and every time I go up I'm, I'm disappointed that I don't find anything up high and then down in the bottoms is where where I find stuff so keep that in mind you know if you can save yourself climbing a hill you might as well because it ain't exactly flat country here as soon as I turned off the camera, I looked down and found that piece. Now, I have started looking around and I'm starting to find a lot more. There's another piece right here. I don't think it's that iridescent, but... And then, look over here. And this stuff kind of st stands out like a sore thumb. Oh, this one's really cool. This might be pet wood. That's still really cool, really cool stuff. There's more, there's another piece. Another piece, really cool. It's got some color in it. Some of that, sorry, some of that red. You know, a quick second, found all that. I mean, you see the opal and the petrified wood, you're like, oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. So I don't know if that came from up higher. I don't really want to go up there. Peek around here for a few minutes and then carry on down the hill. I'm almost, almost to my spot. So check back with you in a minute. There's no shortage of these out here. So if anybody wants some of these to to uh, decorate. Let me know. I'll tell you right where they're at. Here's a piece. Ooh, here's a really cool piece. And another really cool piece. Yeah, that one's way cool. These are definitely opal. You know, I'll just keep climbing until, oh wow, that's a really cool piece right there. 
Look at this one. Very cool. That's straight up petrified wood, but opalized. So this is pretty cool. This piece was right next to a piece I found earlier. And I saw it and I thought about it and then I forgot about it. This is a cool piece of petrified wood. Focus, there we go. Maybe. Oh, here's another piece. So all of this I found in this one little general area. So I probably should go up the hill a little bit. So here's another piece. Actually, there's a piece right there. A couple of little pieces right there. This one's buried. I'm not sure how big it is. I know it's not that big, but it looks like it's a cool piece right there. You know, one thing about this this area is it's it's pretty unforgiving, and you know you always want to let someone know, especially when you're by yourself where you're going. Um, I do a lot of stuff by myself, so. I always let the my team members know where I'm going, give them a GPS um, spot where I'm going, and so that if something does happen, then they can rescue me. <laughs> so, but make sure you do it with someone who's reliable. You know, I know if I get hurt or something, or stuck out here, that all I gotta do is wait, and help will come because I do I I do trust those guys with my life, and. So not, don't just let one person know, let multiple people know where you're going. It's a smart thing to do. Right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. That was a good piece right there. <laughs> that one's cool. Very cool. And my pockets are filling up fast. That's a good thing cool piece but on the bigger side and then you go up here and there's this cool piece here this one's super cool look the lines in these nice clear shine light behind that and those those darker lines will glow okay so Started picking them up down there in the bottom. And now it makes me wonder if there's any in that slide. But we'll stick to this side first. Another cool piece here. This one's got a lot of color to it. There's another piece. That's a good looking piece. So it seems the pieces are getting a little bit bigger as they get higher. And right next to that is this one and then a really really cool one. Oh wow right here that's a really cool one I'll polish up nice wow it's just beautiful and then I seen a damn boulder here look at this as a monstrous piece of petrified wood way cool all right so I've made it up this high and I finally stopped seeing material. So I'm gonna go back down, ignore <laughs> this hillside and make my, I can, I can damn near see my honey hole right there. So obviously it all kind of washes down that way. So I'm gonna head back down the hill and work my way back down that way. And I'm sure I'll find more stuff and get stuck. This is just such a great area. This stuff is just all over the place. You just gotta keep your eyes open. You look for look for those little little white pieces. Like uh, that's a piece. And then this looks like a cool piece. Yeah, that's a cool piece. You know, these all look really cool when they're cleaned up. Get all the dirt off of them. Another piece. 
Oh, they actually turned out to be a bigger piece than I thought. Stuff is just everywhere. As you can see, just all over the place. Let me break these pieces. Look at this one. Way cool, this one. And just the look at this big old little hunky chunky. Not as cool as I thought. place. This piece is cool. Hmm. This is what I've been looking for. So, just found this great piece of greenish common opal right next to the path. And I look up here, here's another piece and another piece. I like the green stuff, it's kind of cool right here. Another piece, another piece. Let's see what's little pieces. Here's a bigger piece. Some cool looking stuff here. No idea what makes it green. But I like it. These ways. I'm gonna have to set the camera down. There's so much of this. Another piece. I like common opal. Here's a cool piece up here. This is kind of degraded a little bit. Leave that one. Another piece here. spend a few more seconds right here. So, as per my tradition at this place, I'm running out of time and I've gotten into some of this great looking green opal. And I found now that if I dig into this hillside every once in a while, and catch a glimpse of some opal. Right there. I haven't even made it down to my another piece. Down to my little honey hole for petrified wood and I don't think I'm going to. You know, this is great material here from above. And there's some in this it's like this top layer of soil. There's a bunch of it in there, so, as you can see. So I can get all this dry. I'm not getting anything out of this dry, but this this top layer here, start digging in there, and the pieces seem to kind of fall out. Of course, it's gonna make a wire out of me. I can't see right there. Oh. All right, so. Uh, hung up on the green oval for a while and I probably should have been heading back to the truck uh, about 20 minutes ago <laughs> so now I gotta kind of hustle out of here but um, I'll put in right now what I found You know, if you guys like these like these sort of videos and you want to see more, um, 
let us know and you know um let us know down in the comments and uh you know let us know on the comments on facebook and even pm us on facebook or instagram and you know make sure you hit that subscribe button that really it really helps us out and i'm still looking for rocks and i gotta get out of here so um just let us know if you like them and i'll make more so until next time see ya